It's the 2K Sports Free Game Show. Welcome to the NBA playoffs in this critical game four of the opening round here on 2K Sports. Along with the Jet and the Diesel, Ernie Johnson. Tonight, it'll be the Chicago Bulls up against the Charlotte Hornets. Checking out the Hornets, a withering loss in game three. They'll have to play much better tonight. We'll see if they can steady themselves and get it done. And here we are, folks. Elimination game tonight. For one team, the struggle is real. Shaq, what would you say to them? Uh, really playing for pride at this point? There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow, Ernie. Sure there is. There is no tomorrow. You got to give everything you got today. Even if you lose, you're building towards next year. Wow. There, there really isn't going to be a tomorrow? Well, basketball time. Not no. literally. Oh, okay. You didn't see the movie, Ernie? Which one? The day after tomorrow? No, where the guy said, there is no tomorrow. Yeah. That was just a movie. Okay. Well, I, I just saying. What? Well, you know, the momentum could shift. Is there really not going to be a tomorrow? No, yeah, well, the momentum will shift. There'll be a tomorrow. Mm -hmm. well, that's kind of good. I had a dental appointment. K-Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Continues with a heavy dose of citrus. The Charlotte Hornets have their backs against the wall, down three games to none. Can the dream of defying history by doing what no team has done before drive them to victory? It's a must win game four against the Chicago Bulls. Will there be an upset in round one? It's all coming up next. Game four of this Eastern Conference quarterfinal series. Down three zip. It's a survival contest, no doubt. Will this series end here tonight? Thanks for tuning in to the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Alongside Greg Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. It's the Chicago Bulls taking on the Charlotte Hornets. As you take a look at Charlotte, they're facing elimination, and the fans in this building know that this could be their last game of the year without a tremendous effort. Yeah, let's not kid ourselves. Things are looking bleak right now. There's no doubt about that. But the home fans are behind them. They've just got to focus on winning this game and then take it from there. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Don and Wade, they're the guards. Chandler Parsons out there at Miritich, and it's DJ in at the center. Now here is Howard. To the wing on the left. Over DJ. The shot. No good. And the Bulls going the other way now. And news coming out that DJ will be gracing the cover of NBA 2K19. I assume that is some sort of video game or something. <laughs> and that this is a big deal. But to be honest... I've never heard of it before. To be honest, it, it seems like that company has gotten a little desperate for attention if they are putting an undrafted player like DJ on their cover. The whole thing smells like a marketing stunt to me, Parker. Now, here's Walker following the miss by DJ. Yes, that goes in. 
and you can see there the defender allows himself to get picked. You know, it's all about effort. Sometimes you're going to get hit on hard screens. You just have to fight through them. Now, here's DJ. The shot, no good. Good D by Howard. Batum wide open. He fires. A three-pointer off the mark. For Chicago, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Here's Wade. Second chance effort. Dwight Howard pulls it in. You know, the offense has just looked out of sync. Only one of five from the field. And Land kicks to Walker. Rebound by the Bulls. They come into this game following a tremendous win on Wednesday. And look, it's always tough to win on the road. You've got to go in with the right mindset, and they did. They were their aggressors that night, relentless in their approach, especially scoring the basketball. Here's Lamb after the basket by Nikola Mirotic. Screened by Howard. Walker goes in. Again, the miss by Walker. He was all alone. Looks like he gets a little too relaxed. He has to maintain his focus. Dunn kicks to Parsons. Now the pass to DJ. Up and in. It's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. I mean, efficient offense. DJ gets the high percentage look, and that's usually going to result in two. Howard setting the pick for Lamb. the wing, Batum. Wade is covering. Power dishes to Batum. Shot clock at six. It's good. Batum's got his first basket of the night. Chicago leading by three. Here's the screen. And Parsons kicks to Dunn. Bulls moving the ball around. DJ passes to Dunn. Offensive rebound. Goes back up. Can't capitalize inside. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence in this quarter. Nothing on target. Walker against Miritich. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. The Hornets shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. And the first one at the line is good. Kemba Walker hits them both. This is where he feels 100% comfortable taking all the free points he can get. Wade dishes to DJ. That falls. Nice speed that time from Dwayne Wade. DJ's got his second bucket. Cool and steady from mid range. DJ looking comfortable working that in between area. Top Walker, stolen by Wade. Dunn kicks to Parsons. The dunk and the bow, a powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. Kemba Walker picks one up. And there you see the heart and fire of Parsons just refuse to be denied on that shot. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Kaminsky is checked in for the Hornets. Michael Kidd Gilchrist comes in for Lamb. Harkonnen, he's checked in for Chicago. Dean comes in for Dwayne Wade. Hornets trail by six. And here's Walker. And Batum kicks to Kaminsky. Screen by Howard. Charlotte no good that time either. Yeah, you, you love the solid screen, but what you hate is just the inability to finish. You can see he's frustrated with that one. He knows it's up to him to make that play. Now, here's DJ. And it's sent back by Howard. Yeah, and she just have to be cautious with Howard around. He has such a long reach that he easily blocks those kinds of shots. Here's Walker. They trail by six. A shot by Kaminsky. Nobody around. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. Here's Dunn, guarded by Walker. DJ with it. And it's 
sent back by Howard. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. He's hit a rough patch this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it, though. Now here's Levine. Following the miss by Kemba Walker. Looking to get back on track here. And DJ with the basket on the assist by Levine. And that's now six points for DJ. Hornets trail by eight. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. That's a two-pointer from Walker. Good as the jump shot falls. Walker's got his second basket of the night. And you see the coach saying, no, no, no. Then yes, yes, yes. Dunn passes to DJ. There's 154 left here in the opening quarter. And it's sent back by Howard. Tries from 16. Batum, good. When the defense is non-existent like they were there, it's pretty easy to score like he did. Over to the left wing. Arkanen kicks to DJ. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Well, this is what happens when you're pushing the action. DJ draws the foul call. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And some changes here for the Hornets. Monk comes in for Nicholas Batum. And it's Malcolm Delaney in for Kemba Walker. Chicago also making some changes. Simmons comes in for Chandler Parsons. And Wells is subbed in for Dunn. Here's Delaney. Here's Kaminsky. Again, the Hornets score. I, I like seeing Mark set his teammates up. A part of his game that I think he's got to continue to improve. Levine dishes to DJ. Can't capitalize on the good pick. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Kicks to Howard. Feeds it to Monk. Pocket six. Here's Kid Gilchrist. The Hornets rebound. Tries again. That one's not going to go. The Bulls leading by four. Wells in the corner three-point shot. Wells has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And you gotta like the vision for marking it. I mean, a big man who knows how to find the open man. The three ball. The shot by Monk is no good. Chicago's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Now here's Levine. Not a lot of room. Releases from 15, and he connects with the jumper. That's 10 points for DJ. That's nice patient by Zach Levine, finding the open man, not trying to do it all himself. Here's Monk. Cranes it from beyond the arc. And so it's DJ making things happen for Chicago. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that quarter. And we'll be right back after this. Welcome back to game four as we get ready to start things up again. And taking a look at Chicago's performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? Through that first one, uh, they turned this thing into a track beat. Fun to watch. They give you no time to set up on defense, and we see that reflected in the score. Kaminsky and Howard, the tall front line. Then there's Michael Kidd Gilchrist, and there's Monk, and it's Delaney in at the one spot. So that's the group out there for Charlotte. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, DJ in the last matchup against the Hornets put on a show. He scored 33 points, and in addition to his scoring, he also finished with a season high in rebounds. He racked up big numbers in what was a really good performance. Can he carry it over tonight? We'll see, Kevin. Great, David. Appreciate it. Well, he set the bar pretty high for himself with that performance. He did, I mean, but we know he's going to try to raise that bar again tonight. No matter how good he is, he's always thinking he can do better. It's going to be tough. I'm sure their entire defensive game plan is centered around how to stop him. They're going to be all over him. Trills the three-pointer. 
Kid Gilchrist has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And you got to appreciate just the presence of mind there. Monk demonstrating solid court awareness by finding the open man. Now, here's DJ. Ten points for him. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And on some plays, everything goes your way, except for the finish. And stolen by Simmons. Levine with it, picked up by Kid Gilchrist. The inside shot is off from DJ. That was against good defense. He tried to sneak it in, though. We've seen him do it plenty of times. Monk, the pass to Kid Gilchrist. With his first shot attempt, and he overshot that one, missing. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the call. Chicago the foul. Charlotte shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. That free throw, no good. Jeremy Lamb's checked in for Charlotte. Then for the Bulls. Miritich is checked in for Markkinen. Denzel Valentine comes in for Simmons. And Justin Holliday subbed in for Zach Levine. Now here's Wells. And a fast break now for the Hornets. And the shot is good. The Chicago lead has been cut to just three points on the basket from Delaney. Just great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and then trigger the fast break. And that replay brought to us by Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. One of the more exciting plays in basketball. Here's O'Brien following the basket by DJ. Monk kicks to Delaney. Here's the screen. Monk dishes to Kaminsky. Just five on the clock. Charlotte needs to get a shot. Delaney. And the miss. Not the best shot selection there. The Bulls leading by five. Holiday the pass to DJ. It's deflected. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. And how about the reaction time on D there? Almost comes up with the pick. You know, these are the little plays that can add up when you look over the course of a game. And he can't bank that one in. Hornets have gone two of five from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. And Lamb kicks to Kaminsky. Let's it go with a three. A three-pointer is right on target. Kaminsky's got five points so far. What a valuable asset to the offense, having a big with that kind of range. Holiday with the three. Another three for Chicago. And that's from beyond, guys. Right back at you. This is looking more like an all-star game right now. Everyone launching from range. Now, here's Monk. Pass to Delaney. Charlotte moving the ball around. Monk kicks to Kaminsky. Pass to Delaney. Tries a three. Doesn't go that time. And it's Chicago the other way. Here's DJ. 12 points for him. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Kaminsky's got three rebounds so far in the game. Here's Delaney. On the wing, Lamb. Delaney kicks to Kaminsky. Good on the triple. Kaminsky's got six in the quarter. Big difference from the first quarter to the second. His shot looks completely in rhythm now. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Yeah, I mean, just wants to make sure everybody's on the same page here going forward. You know, sometimes the best way to approach it, let your guys know what they're doing well and give them one or two things that they could have done better. Looking at who's out there now for the Hornets. Nicholas Batum. He's checked in for Monk. And Walker subbed in for Malcolm Delaney. Hornets trail by four. Now Lamb. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Poked away. And here is Valentine. DJ with it. He's got 14. And it falls over the rim and in. 
DJ's got 16 points. Yeah, that's a, one of his specialties, just squaring up from medium range. Yeah, he has the height to shoot over most any defender and the touch to make it with consistency. Now here's Walker. He's got six. On the wing. Bryant, no good. Chicago leading by six. Now here's DJ. And Miritich kicks to Valentine. This is the DJ. Here's the three. Miritich's shot is off. Charlotte has gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Here's Lamb. Some solid defense from DJ. Chicago has gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. The shot by Valentine, no good. For Charlotte, they've gone four of ten in the second quarter from the field. Over in the corner, Lamb. There's the dish to Kaminsky. And again, the Hornets missing. For Chicago, they've gone 5 of 12 from the field here in the second. DJ kicks to Holland. Off target with his three. Oh, you can tell he's frustrated to get that good of a look from three, and he didn't make it. Walker with a clean look. Nailed from three-point land. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Kaminsky with the double team. The wide open look here for Holiday. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. 58 seconds left to play in the first half. There's the pick. And it's Walker penetrating. And fouled on the shot, so the bucket counts. And a chance for one more here. And boy, has he come alive. And we're through the first half of basketball here in what's been a good one. Bulls lead by three. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Zach, a hard-fought first half. What changes have to be made to get a little separation? That make it tough. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half. Welcome back as we get set to continue our coverage of this round one playoff matchup. You look at DJ in this game, he's been everywhere. Yeah, and the fact he's posted a double-double with about half the game left to play, that's impressive. He's been one of, if not the hardest worker over the first two quarters. His tenacity has been the difference. Tipping off the second half, here's Fred Hoiberg's five. John and Wade, they're the guard set. Miritich out there with Chandler Parsons, and it's DJ in at the five down low. And finished off by Parsons. And a pretty good defender credit Parsons with the disruption there to get them running. Hornets trail by five. Walker dishes to Lamb. He kicks to O'Brien. Now the feed to Lamb. Pocket six. There's Walker with the three. That's good. He's five for nine. And he's kind of always had that shoot-first mentality for a point guard. And when you can shoot it like Walker, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Now, here's DJ. 16 points for him. Dunn misses. Charlotte has gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark, shooting the three ball well. With a tie. And it's DJ with the rebound. DJ's got 13 rebounds in the game. Last eating. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. He gets it in there. You're right. That's another one for DJ. He's definitely got it going tonight. Here's Walker. 15 points in the game. Here's O'Brien. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Done. And 
the rebound goes to the Hornets. Walker's got his third rebound tonight. He dishes it to Howard. They set the pick. Batum with the three. And it's DJ with the rebound. DJ's got rebound number 15 here tonight. That's one for their first four to start the second half. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Walker's shot is off. And with that miss, shooting only 20% coming out of the break. Ouch! Dunn, wide open, he fires, and the three ball is good. Good eyes to find the open man. DJ out there passing with the purpose. And Walker kicks to Lamb, passes it to O'Brien. He feeds it to Lamb. Shot clock at six. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. The Hornets have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. Free throw drops for Lamb. Monks checked in for Charlotte. Malcolm Delaney comes in for Walker. And Chicago also making a switch. Wells, he's checked in for Chandler Parsons. And Lamb drops them both. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. There's the screen. Wells passes to DJ. It's stolen by Monk. Four on three break. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. I tell you what, he's tenacious on the drive, isn't he? I mean, Monk constantly looking to get to the free throw line. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. DJ sets the screen for Dunn. And one area of concern for Dunn, hitting his free throws with consistency because he has the temperament to draw fouls. The Bulls have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. No good at the stripe this time. And second misses also. Hornets trail by three. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Delaney drops in the layup for two. Delaney's got five now. Chicago has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Wade dishes to DJ. He gets it in there. And the Bulls lead by three. I like how DJ uses the screen right there, creating space for his shot. Delaney kicks to O'Brien. The pass to Monk. Now, here's Howard. Defense is right there. Feeds it to O'Brien. Five to shoot. Goes up from the top of the key. No good from Lamb. The Bulls leading by three. Lead from outside. It's rebounded by O'Brien. Now, here's Monk. Tight defense on him. Pass to Delaney. Kicks it to Lamb. Howard with a screen on Wade. For the tie. And it's DJ with the rebound. The Bulls have gone 4 of 7 to get things started here in the second half. Wells passes to DJ. To the paint. Oh, and the dunk by Dunn. And Dunn is just an astonishing dunker, slamming it home with some real force. And that was Under Armour bringing you that replay. Unleash chaos. And what a play it was. Here's Delaney. Five points in the game. Here's Howard. Nice D from DJ. In over his head on the layup attempt there. Too much defensive pressure. Pass to Wells. Dishes it to DJ. Doubled by Howard. Beyond the arc. It's rebounded by Charlotte. You won't see him miss many of these. A wide open look from distance. Here's Lamb. Wade is covering. Delaney kicks to Monk. The dish to Howard. Now, 
Here's Monk. Defense right on him. Shoots over Wells. And it comes off the front of the rim. The Bulls leading by five. Wade dishes to DJ. He kicks it to Dunn. Wade passes to DJ. The feed to Dunn. Puts up a three. It's good from long range. Dunn's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Bulls. Charlotte's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. Charlotte calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Can't make good off the screen. Hornets trail by five. Wells with the steal. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. Arkanen's got the ball. Now here's DJ. Defense right on him. And there's Wells. That's good on the assist by DJ. DJ's got his seventh assist in the game. Charlotte's gone two of five with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Monk. He's guarded close. Back to Howard. Passes to Delaney. He dishes it to Monk. 29 seconds left to play in the third. Charlotte moving the ball around. Just five to shoot. Here's Delaney. Can't hit from 12. And tonight, he just hasn't been efficient offensively. That's a big reason why they're behind. Here's the pass to Levine. The second effort, and Wells lays it in. Wells has got his third basket of the night right there. Yeah, like the edge Wells brings to the boards. Terrific at judging misses and then just pouncing on the board. And so it's the Chicago Bulls with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Moments ago from the huddle, let's listen in on head coach Fred Hoiberg. Keep our pace on offense, right? Keep pushing the ball, keep getting out and running. They're going to pressure. They're going to continue to pick up the pressure. And Fred Hoiberg, moments ago in that huddle, wanting to keep that offense dynamic. He plays uh, up the tempo role. That, that's something that's important for him. Loves pace. But they're facing some stiff resistance guys here. Uh, hey, listen, this is a war. Both sides working hard to try and capture that momentum in this contest. And welcome back to the NBA playoffs as we get ready to continue with this round one matchup. The forwards are Kid Gilchrist and Kaminsky. Walker and Batum teaming up in the backcourt. And it's Howard in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. Levine against Walker. He feeds it to Kaminsky. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. A good board there, Kevin. But overall, they're getting slightly out-rebounded. Just great at getting after it defensively, forcing guys into tough shots. Yeah, to be successful, you've got to protect the paint. He rises to that challenge. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. And he throws it right out of bounds. Careless mistake. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. And Simmons kicks to DJ. Outside, Levine. Drills it from outside. And the Bulls lead by 16. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. 
Walker with it. Now defended by Markinen. The 10 footer. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. And that's 17 points for Kemba Walker. Levine dishes to DJ. Parsons outside. Another three for Chicago. And how about the last five made shots have all been three. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Charlotte calls timeout. And when you take a look at that shot chart, the amount of misses lately, really unbelievable. You start to wonder, in my opinion, is it better to take everything to the rack now or to try and at least draw some fouls? The Bulls making a switch here. Holiday's checked in. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Here's Walker. Charlotte no good that time either. The Bulls leading by 17. Now DJ outside Levine. Another three for Chicago. All these open threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Howard kicks to Walker. Outside Batum, just five on the clock. Here's Kid Gilchrist. And the defense really pressing up on him. Made that a tough shot. Here's Chicago. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. Levine kicks to DJ. Outside Holiday. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Howard kicks to Batum. Kaminsky, the pass to Walker. Feeds it to Howard. Batum dishes to Howard. Kid Gilchrist, no luck. The Bulls leading by 23. And Holiday kicks to DJ. And DJ throws it down. And so far, they have been in complete control of this one. Just a well-rounded effort on the road. You know what they've done? They've been aggressive on both ends. That's showing up on the scoreboard. Pass to Walker. Kicks it to Kaminsky. Screen by Howard. Back to Walker. Launches a three. And again, the Hornets missing. Yeah, momentum right now is against them. They, they're just going to have to figure out a way to ride this one out. You know, easier said than done. What they need to do is string together some positive plays. Try to turn the tide. Tries it again. And there's the call by the official. They'll count the basket here following the goaltending call. Just barely. Charlotte's gotten some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. And Walker kicks to Monk. Charlotte no good that time either. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Wait up top, 18 feet out. That shot off. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. Outside, Walker. They set the pick. Softly drops in the floater. Walker's got four points now in the quarter. The beauty of the teardrop. Very difficult to really contest. Here's Wade. And then Wade slams it in. Wade making the defenders look like they're underwater when he drives it. And here's Walker. And it's DJ with the rebound. Well, the Bulls shooting well. 50% from the floor. Parsons passes to Dunn. Miritich dishes to Wade. Out to the right wing. 
from 11 feet away. The Hornets pull it in. 129 left in the game. And guys, just really impressed. They made big plays when it counted, and that's why it's going to be on to the next round for the Bulls. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And guys, one of the steady and outstanding players putting in another impressive performance. It was a big time outing for DJ. <laughs> oh, his array of talents on full display. Picks up the triple double, really takes ownership of this game. I thought that made the difference for them tonight. And Walker kicks to Lamb. They get it back. Outside, Walker. And stolen by Dunn. It's DJ atop the key. Kid Gilchrist with the steal. And stolen by DJ. Count it. And just putting the finishing touches on this one. They have been on fire. I mean, a fantastic run. The guys are really clicking. And the scoreboard reflects that. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Outside, Walker to the wing on the left. But no one around him. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. It's an encouraging sign to see Monk working off those pin downs. An effective shooter when he gets any sort of daylight. Batum with the steal. And the foul called on DJ. That's foul number two for him. And they do it. They'll move on to round two. What a performance through the entire first round. Break sweeping in four games. And they really had a tremendous... <laughs> Great game, DJ. Thanks. Listen, the guys in the studio want to talk to you. Okay. Let's right. do it. Right this way. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. And we welcome you back. I'm Ernie Johnson. We got Shaq here. We got Kenny here. With this one in the books, we've got a special post game guest joining us. What's up? It's the Jet. Hey, man, a triple-double? Now, not many players in this league can do that, so congrats. Do you think that's something you could do more often? You know, some people might think so, Kenny, but I seriously doubt that. You know, I am sure that I can help my team get wins every night, and, uh, you know, quite often that doesn't translate on the stat sheet. I, I believe that as soon as you start chasing the numbers, you lose sight of what the real goal is, and that is getting this team in a position to win an NBA title. I love it. You got it in the flow of the game. Continue the good work. Thank you. I'm focused, Ken. And that'll do it for our coverage of this round one series for Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew. I'm Ernie Johnson. We look forward to seeing you in round two. <laughs>